Right, we're gonna make some butter. My wife's a big old butter lover. I'm not so much, but uh, obviously for health. But we're gonna make some, we've got about a pint and a half of cream. Uh, we've sanitized the bowl and the whisk. Of course, you don't need um, this equipment. You can put it in a mixer and do exactly the same as your household mixer. So basically, Cream is just double cream. We need something with around 40% fat. And it literally takes about three or four minutes to do this. This is really simple. So anyone can do it at home. But uh, I know it's convenient to buy butter, but uh, the idea is uh, literally to do about a minute of whipping with the machine, all this, um, until it gets thick. And then about another two minutes after to separate all the curds and the whey so you end up with a nice thick uh, fresh butter. It's not been easy, mixer is better. So far we've got to sort of like whipped cream consistency so that needs to keep going for a bit more. Now, uh, we know we should have two products. We've got the now we'll have the butter and the whey. So the whey you can use in um, cakes, cereals, etc. Anything you want, really. And the uh, butter, obviously, we're making this butter today. Just got a bit more work to do with it. Make sure all the whey is out of it. We've got some butter shapers over there. That'll help get all the whey out of it and also shape it for your butter dish. That'll do it. So you've got the uh, the whey, which smells really nice. Uh, butter milk. Uh, I say you can use that in case you're using anything. So it is a unique flavour. Um, now I'm going to form the butter and we're going to salt it I've got some pink Himalayan sea salt there uh, you can do anything to this you can put chai seeds in it you can put turmeric butter you can make any butter you want you think about what uh, the flavors you can make uh, depends on what, what you want it for of course um, you can make several different ones split it up make seven different ones one for savory one for uh, sweet Enough here to make uh, at least two or three different flavour butters. So you're literally going to make a shape in it, but what's all you're doing really is get making sure all the ways out. There's still a little bit in there. And this is for shaping as well. So if you want to make a particular flavour, obviously you put that in before you start shaping it. As you can see, it's the consistency is good. See, my wife will love this, but she likes it heavily salted, like Welsh butter, really. So, but uh, she'll want it quite heavily salted. So, I'll do some for her, and uh, then I'll do a flavoured butter, no doubt. But yeah, that's looking good. Happy with that. Still a bit of whey coming out, which is fine. Um, but I say, I'll salt that now and mix it and uh, get ready for the butter dish. So what we're going to do is peel that bit off into there. We're going to do plenty of salt because she likes it salty, pink and melon. And then we're just literally going to push the salt through the butter, but this also helps get rid of a bit more weight. You've got to keep all this cold because you don't want your butter melting on you. You want to keep it nice and cool at all times, so don't play with it with your hands because uh, it's too warm for it. It'll start clarifying. And uh, just do this to taste really. Just make sure you've got enough salt in it. This one obviously is for my wife, so we'll just have a little taste. No, nope, that needs more for Helen. And she's never tasted Welsh butter, so I can't wait to get her some of that. 
so she really will love that. Not the healthiest for you, of course. So <laughs> she will uh, need to take this in uh, moderation. But you need to use activated charcoal and make a black butter and put chai seeds and sunflower seeds and sesame seeds in it and use this uh, seeded butter for your bread which is much healthier but you say you've got to use this in moderation really it's uh, not the right type of fat for you well, not too much anyway there you go One, so make sure you don't get any of the weigh in. We're going to salt this one and flavor this with seeds. I think that'll be fairly shared out. So, you're going to put a bit of salt in that. I don't want it unsalted. I don't want it as salty as that one, my wife's butter. So, we've got some pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds in this one. It's good for toast in the morning. Uh, make sure that uh, say it brings a little bit of nutrition, even though you shouldn't be having too much butter. This will support the nutritional improvement. But uh, you can do this obviously with margarine and stuff as well. Still whey coming out of this one. Quite lovely. So. salt, a few seeds, I think, should do it, and it's just so easy to do, anyone can do this, especially in lockdown, especially when you're bored, this is ideal, it's just trying to knock it, that's a seeded one, Oh, they can go in different buttered dishes, obviously. And the other one will make most probably a salt and pepper one. And to keep it other than a dish, or if you're going to keep it a little bit longer, just roll it up. Longer. The other one. I'm going to keep in the fridge for a little while so they're better in smaller blocks to be able to take them out as and when you want them. So they'll last a little while in your fridge and just take a block out at a time.